Please welcome up Anthony. Thanks. Hi, I'm Anthony um, from Earthmine. I'm here today to talk about Wild Style City, breaking the clean reality of the virtual world. And when we're talking about clean reality, I'm really focusing on the world or the environment, the actual environment of virtual worlds. So there's many examples out there of virtual worlds. And one thing that they all have in common is that it's this combination of people, whether it be an individual or a small group, with an environment and how people interact in that environment. And it's really focusing on that human-to-human -human interaction. And it includes humans pretending to be kittens as well. Uh, environment and behavior. So this is sort of an interesting subject, and that is that the environment greatly influences behavior, and likewise, behavior greatly influences the environment. Um, you know, what I find it, it sort of shocking is that the unlimited potential of the virtual world, why people want to sit down at a conference, uh, you know, if you could be flying around like a wizard or something, uh, sitting patiently and listening to someone give a lecture. It's what you're doing here. Why would you want to do that online? Um, so sort of that interesting subject, behavior and the virtual environment, you know, we thought, well, what if, what if we could provide an environment, EarthMind could provide an environment that was very realistic and accurate and combine it with another very real artistic subculture, graffiti, and this is what you'll have is, is Wild Style City. So I'll jump into a, a demo of that right now. So Wild Style City, go to wildstylecity.com, check it out, it's live right now. Uh, here's the basic instructions for getting started, and I'll walk you through it as, as we go along here. Um, so as you notice, you can look around the panoramic imagery, um, provide a map, a very stylized map, albeit, um, pick an area along this sort of fake metro system uh, around the city, um, jump down to Mission Street, and, uh, and look around a bit. Uh, some other sort of interesting components about the navigation, you know, doing a list view. <laughs> see, some, see some graffiti right there already. Um, you know, move down the street, a lot like street view, you can just bump down the street, uh, sort of walking down the street. Sort of other unique, unique features, you can sort of just double click and jump around, like click on this building down here, jump to the closest viewpoint. Uh, and all of this is in search for the ideal spot to create your masterpiece. So these virtual, these virtual graffiti canvases here, um, and I, please excuse my, my work last night, it was pretty poor. Uh, okay, we got some, got some audio there. Uh, so as you create your work here, we've, we've focused on making some very nice tools for everyone to use for the graffiti, uh, including spray paint, marker, roller, the same exact tools that a street artist would have out in the real world. Um, and then to uh, you know, give them, you know, let them go out there and create sort of a masterpiece out there on, on real world places because that's what graffiti is about. It's about connecting an idea or a message to an actual place. And uh, yeah, I'm going to add some carrots here to the sign and sort of clean it up here a bit. Maybe leave my, leave my call sign, the deuce. And I could vote that up or I could vote it down. Um, decided to, I, since I thought it was pretty good, I'll, I'll give it a bomb. But uh, there's a lot of other people, and this, this shows how it's a social environment, right? So just like in the real world, people don't spray over graffiti that's good. Um, you can go through and, and sort of check out not only the graffiti that's in one spot, but go back through the layers like you're seeing here. Go back in time. See what was covered up. Things that you can't do in the real world. Uh, and this example shows you know, bumping back and forth, voting on a specific piece that you like. Um, so all these, these virtual, these, these billboards that you see are really enabled by a key feature of EarthMind's API, which is the, which is the, the billboards, um, so the idea of inserting images into, into 3D space. Um, so those can be static images, those can be advertisements, those can be video advertisements, they can be flash, it can be a lot of things. So you know, really this, while Cell City was about getting it out there, letting people see the imagery, see the data, and see what's you know, possible with a street, a street level 3D data set. Um, all right, one last point. Uh, come check us out at the booth. Uh, we're at, uh, I think right next to, uh, I think is it Nokia. Uh, come check us out. Uh, also check out wildstylecity.com. It's live right now. Uh, anyone can go in there and create their masterpiece for everyone to see. And yeah, stop by the booth. Thank you. Thank you.